was just working on my solar cell research. <laughs> Anyways, why don't I give you a tour? Come on. As you can see, this is my lovely lab full of amazing machines, <laughs> I mean instruments, and amazing students. Great job, guys. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and amazing TAs like Ibrahim. Ibrahim is a great resource. He's here to help you through every lab. Been here. Ibrahim, why don't you explain to the students how much you love the FAAS? Um, well, I don't usually use this instrument. Yes. Why don't we begin this tour so with one of my favorite instruments, with this, like, the Flame the Atomic like Absorption Spectroscopy. Yeah. Oh, did I forget to mention? My name is Dr. Natalie. Here's my business card. Before we can get started, we have to insert a lamp into the instrument. Here's where you can find the lamps. You choose a lamp based on the element that you're trying to analyze. For our experiment, we're going to use a zinc lamp. This hollow cathode lamp emits a wavelength that is similar to the wavelength that zinc absorbs. To insert the lamp, you pull on these springs here, insert it carefully, there's another one on this side, and push the lamp all the way through until it just touches and then slightly pull the lamp back so there's a small gap in between the lamp and the instrument. Then take the plug of the lamp and gently insert it right here. Now we are going to set the parameters for our instrument. Close the lid. Turn the instrument on. Make sure all the knobs are set to the left. The first thing we need to do is set the current for our lamp. Looking on the box or on the lamp itself, we can find that the current is supposed to be 10 milliamps. So we're going to slowly adjust the lamp knob until the reading says 10. Like that. Next, change the signal knob to setup. Come over here and adjust the wavelength for whatever wavelength your element absorbs at. In this case, zinc absorbs at 213, 213.9. sophisticated stabilization tape <laughs> to hold it in place. Then you adjust the gain to 75. Two thousand years later. Now we're going to zero the instrument. Change signal to absorbance. Change the mode to hold and click average 5T AZ. This will take the average over a five second time frame to zero out the instrument. Like that. To start the flame, open the valve to the acetylene tape. Come over here. Turn the air to on, which is our oxidant, atmospheric oxygen. Turn on the fuel valve, and then ignite the flame. Oh, and don't forget your safety glasses. Outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Place it into the sample holder, aka beaker. Take the tube and slide it directly into your sample. The instrument is now sucking up our sample through this very tiny tube. To get a reading of absorbance, click read and it will take an average over a five second time frame. To change samples, 
remove the tube from your first sample and be sure to flush the system with 1% nitric acid. After that, you're ready to run your second sample. To turn the instrument off, turn off the fuel, turn off the air, close the vent hood, and make sure you close the acetylene tank. Also, turn the instrument off by the power switch. When you're finished with your experiment, be sure to remove the lamp cautiously, put it back where you got it, and clean out your sample containers, and put all equipment back where you found it. Thank you for visiting my lab today. I'm glad I got to show you how to use the Flame Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy, aka the FAAS. I hope to see you again. Maybe you'll be in my class next semester. <laughs>